thoughtful interviews. You're engaged with the the subject. I, I just I, I have to talk to her because it just seems well, like. Well, thank you. So your film is Chi and Tea. It is one of the few I have not seen because it was not ready. Oh really? Or there wasn't a or there was. Or there wasn't a link available in time. But that's it. Tell me. Tell me about Chi and T. Uh, Chi and T is a comedy. Uh, it's about the last two guys in Silicon Valley who have nothing to do with technology. And it's uh, about two debt collectors who have to take their boss's nephew to get him into a suit for his engagement party. And everything goes wrong. I love films like that. It's like a sort of a... A weekend at Bernie's meets Get Him to the Greek meets, you know, Do the Right Thing and with brown people in it. You know, it's a big mix of things, <laughs> but it's fun, you know. I think uh, uh, it's fun to make people laugh, you know, in a the theater. I really enjoy that. And, you know, in looking at the number of films this year at the festival, there aren't a whole lot of comedies. There's, they're heavy on docks and a lot of dramatic things, but not a lot of comedies. And I think we need a lot of laughter. I, I think I mean I think festivals tend to generally like steer away from comedies. I, I find that they're really into dramatic films and angsty dark tales, and that's good. I mean, there's a place for that, but um, I think it's just as craft. It takes just as much craft and art to make something very funny as well. If not, I don't want to say more, but it takes a little bit of energy and chemistry with your cast. You have to you have to create this feeling. No, let's face it. Comedy is harder than drama. Uh, it's harder. It's funny because you see us on set and we're all laughing in the take and we say cut and everyone gets serious again. Like it's a serious business. Oh, because you have to manipulate it. You've got to time it right. So, and that's... So what What was the most challenging aspect of making Chi and Tea? Oh, I, was, uh, I mean, how long do you have? Um, as long as you want. <laughs> well, one of, the, one of the fun challenges, I'll tell you a fun challenge between two. So all my three leads, Dominic Reigns, uh, Asif Ali, and Sankrish Bala, uh, what, you know, Sankar's Bala from um, The Walking Dead, Asif's in this new show, Wrecked, that's come out, and Dominic is in uh, The Fixer, where he won the Best Acting Award at Tribeca recently. Really beautiful cast, but they're all very different actors. Um, Dominic's a, a very method, a method actor, and, and Sankar's is very Meisner, and, and Asif's a comic. And so one of the challenges I had was to try to create um, chemistry in an acting, a directing approach that could accommodate all three different styles in the film, you know? And when I, when we sort of worked it and worked it, and we finally came up with a language that got everybody where they needed to be, but through different methods. And it took, it took a long time to even realize that I was, that's what was happening even, you know. But then when I reflected, I said, wow, we've really accommodated very different processes to get the same, you know, destination in the film. So how exciting is it to be at LA Film Festival with Chi and T? Oh, man, this is like a dream, you know. I think we knew, I think everybody here, you're making your project, you're sitting in a basement for years, editing, whatever, and you can't imagine where your film will end up, and to be in Los Angeles, in the middle of you know Hollywood here, with um, such a great uh, lineup of films, and, and there's so many diverse films here too. So many films represented by women, so many films uh, people of color, so many unique stories. I mean, you feel like you're in good company. And they were telling us uh, last night, you know, just how difficult it is to even get here, you know, and how many films they go through. And um, you kind of feel, you know, you feel like you're making a small film, but you feel very humbled because um, it's uh, it, you, you realize that you're lucky, you know. Well, I, I, for one, cannot wait to see it because that was one of the first films that I wanted to see. And they said, we're going to try and get a link. We're going to try and get a link. And so, but then it came down, we haven't been able to get one. And I was just heartbroken because I always like to start off when I'm pre-screening for LAFF. I like to start off with a comedy. You know, I'm going to have to have a talk with some of my people and some of my people's people. I know we provided a link. I know a link was provided. It maybe it <laughs> fell out into the ether somewhere. And didn't make it to your publicist. <laughs> that is okay, because I'm going to watch it anyway. Come, you know what's the best place to come to this screen? I'm going to try. Uh, we, have, we, have a, we sold out. I know one. you did. You've got a second one added. On Monday. And we really want to get people to come to that one, I think, because it's going to be like the follow-up, you know, so... Um, Come to that one if you can. I'm going to try. What time on Monday? 4.20. That may be tough because I do my radio show on Monday in Whittier and getting back from there. But I'm going to try. I mean, I'm going to try. Good movies uh, that night, too, so you can make a, yes. an evening of it. Yeah. I've seen all of those. <sighs> because they provided the link. Yes. But that's okay because I'm doing interviews with their talent. So I have to be there anyway. <laughs> I will do my very best. Yeah. Thank you Thanks so for having, much. Thanks for, thanks for doing the interview. I appreciate it. Absolute yeah. pleasure. All right. Take care. Hey.